Today I'm going to show you some incredible automations for real estate. But first, I have to address the elephant in the room. So everybody's talking about OpenAI and ChatGPT. So what you're gonna do is go on your prompt. Go on your prompt. I'm sorry, I just couldn't resist. I'm sure these guys are great realtors, but tech? Not sure about that. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use artificial intelligence and automations to supercharge your workflow as a real estate professional and save a bunch of time. My money is time is money oh. for me. Specifically, I'm going to show you how to source properties, track price changes, and even get notifications for high value targets like foreclosures. Stick around. Who is this guy and why should he be talking to you about real estate? Well, I happen to be born in a family of people who do real estate. So since the age of 13, I was running viewings myself. And then after college, I knocked on hundreds of doors. Trying to acquire apartments in an emerging market. So I happen to be an automation geek who knows a thing or two about real estate. Plus, I'm investing in real estate right now in my current market. So this information is extremely relevant to me today. For the first use case, let's start with the very basics. We want to have all of the most interesting properties in one place. If you're a buyer's agent or if you are doing market analysis, having everything in one spreadsheet is going to do magic. Here we are on Zillow, probably your natural habitat. And I have this Chrome extension called Bardeen installed. It's a workflow automation tool that we're going to be using to automate our real estate tasks today. And for Zillow, I'm going to type in a zip code, San Francisco, one of my very favorite zip codes. We have a list of different properties. Here we have a property with all of the information that we might need, including the builder. So I'm going to open up Bardeen over here. And then the automation is called Save Zillow Property to Google Sheets. I'm going to pick a sheet. I can even create a new spreadsheet and call it My Deals and run this automation. Okay, a new spreadsheet was created with all of the information about this listing. So what I can do next is I can go back to our property search, find a different apartment, open up Bardeen with a shortcut option B and save another Zillow property to a spreadsheet. But this time I'm going to pick my existing spreadsheet called my deals and I'm going to remember input so that I do not need to specify the spreadsheet every time. And all of the data is going to be edited with just one click. Let's go back to our spreadsheet and here we have the data. Okay, cool, right? Saves you a minute or two for every listing. But imagine if you want to do market analysis for a given zip code, and it might have hundreds or even thousands of properties. You need to do your number crunching, and you cannot do number crunching in Zillow or across platforms. The next automation is going to help you do exactly this. All of the automations that you're going to see in this video are linked in the description, so we don't need to rebuild anything from scratch. Check this out. And this automation is going to scrape a search results from Redfin. So all I need to do is I need to pin this automation over here and I need to go to Redfin just like this. And then I'm going to type in my favorite zip code 105 in San Francisco. Here we have 113 homes. I'm going to open up Bardeen from here and we are on the search results page, very important. Otherwise it's not going to run. So first we want to specify how many properties that want to extract. I can say 120 and it's going to try to extract as many as possible. We had 113 and then here I get to pick a spreadsheet. I can use an existing spreadsheet that's called my deals or again, create a spreadsheet from scratch. For this use case, I'm going to create a new spreadsheet and I'm going to call it Redfin like this and let's run the automation. So Bardeen is doing its magic, going through every single page and extracting the information. Okay, and that's our spreadsheet. It's extremely satisfying. All of the information is out here. Square footage, bathrooms, prices, it's incredible. I actually want to take it a step further to show you a couple of little tricks. Uh, you can do a formula that's called image and then uh, point to the image over there and then you'll see uh, an image for the property right there. You can drag it down all the way. Let's freeze the first row so it looks a little bit nicer. Another cool hack you can do is you can select all of the rows and a resize, specify height. For example, I can do 80. And now 
I see all of the pictures of the properties. And this literally took me two minutes. It's incredible. Now I want to take things up a notch. And I feel like what I'm about to share with you next should not be available on the internet. So imagine you are a property management company and you want to source new deals, new apartments. How do you do this? Well, you need to do outreach and sometimes you need to do it at scale. I'm about to show you how to build a killer app that doesn't exist and do outreach automatically. I will show you how to do it at scale. Watch this. So here we are on the best short-term rental website, Airbnb. Let's go and find properties in San Francisco. I'm sure there are a lot of properties right now in San Francisco. All right, let's click on search. And here we have different properties over here. Wow, they're a lot cheaper than actually they used to be back in the day, but I'm not here to judge their market. So here we have a bunch of properties. Let's build an automation. In order for us to build this automation, let's break it down. The first thing that we want to do is we want to just grab a list of properties and then I want to go to each one of these properties and I want to extract information about each property, such as about the space. Oh, I can even get the registration number. I'm not sure how their local regulation looks like. And finally, the host, the host, the host, the host. Wow, they even have Instagram account. Uh, so I'll be able to reach out that way. Okay. so. Two things, creating a list and then grabbing information about an individual property. Let's go ahead and do this. I'm excited, as you can tell. I'm going to open up Redeem and this time there's no pre-build automation. We're going to build one. We're going to be using a scraper action in order to extract all the information. I have a dedicated video about how to build scrapers over here. There's a big video. If you want to know how to get information from the web, super valuable right there. Click on the card or the description. All right, first action, scraper. So first one to scrape information on the currently open tab, the active tab, and we are going to pick a scraper template. I'm going to build my own. Let's go ahead and scrape a list. That's the first thing we wanna do. Let's call it Airbnb listings. This is how Bardeen knows that, hey, there's a list. As you can see, there are multiple lists. This is also a list, this is a list. So uh, here we are going to pick pagination. Pagination is just going to flip through the pages. It's click pagination. So I'm going to click on this arrow right here. And that's how Bardeen knows that this is how you flip through pages. So I can grab information from here, such as uh, this text is going to be called listing title, but I don't really care about extracting information from this page. I want to get information from the actual Airbnb page. So let me click on the card itself and I'm going to get the link value right there. So here are all of the links, which to some, it's like, it's incredible, it's that good. All right, so uh, we have listing titles, we have links, you can grab some additional information if you want. Uh, you can do some filters if you want. I don't care because that's not the uh, use case I'm building. So we have a list of links, then we're going to add a new action. It's going to be another scraper action that is going to get information in the background and what I want to do is I want to go to that page, for example, and get that additional information. We're going to build a new scraper template for that. And then here I have this uh, page over there. I'm going to pick the single page scraper, Airbnb property. From here, all you need to do is just click on the element you want and then grab it. Our scraper template is built. Now we're going to feed the links from the previous scraper template to this scraper template. So first we're getting a list and we're scraping each individual page that is going to be open in the background. I'm not going to get into details. Uh, finally, I want to set some limits on how many pages I want to scrape in the background. I can do it either here in the second action or I can do it in this first action. This is a list scraper. This is where I'm going to actually do it. Uh, ask me every time how many listings scrape. So this is the variable that will be specified. And just like this, I just need to dump this information somewhere. It's going to be a Google sheet. Very simple. Let's pick a spreadsheet. Let's pick add rows to a spreadsheet. And we're going to pick a spreadsheet every time as well. So it's going to be a sheet. And then here uh, you can just dump all of the data that's coming from action two. 
into the spreadsheet by using commands. Done. Again, there's a dedicated video about how to build automations like this. Let's save this and call this Airbnb property data from search. Hit save. All right, let's rock and roll. Here we have a list of properties. Open up Redeem, run our automation from here. I want to scrape just the first, say, four properties because I don't want to wait for too long. And I'm going to dump all of this data into my deals spreadsheet from the first use case like this and let's run this automation just so that you know what's happening uh, right now the pages are being open in the background and all of the information is being scraped each listing takes 10 seconds to do that's why i didn't want to go through hundreds here is the spreadsheet with all of the data and you have information about the host name the description about the host and most interesting about space it has the registration number and uh, the descriptions. I'm going to take things up a notch. So the first thing I want to do is I want to write a personalized outreach message to all of these hosts based on the information about the space. I'm going to call this column outreach message. And here under extensions, we have GPT for sheets. It's an add-on that you can find. Uh, let's enable it. Okay, and now we can use OpenAI's formulas. You can click on a list of formulas over here, list of functions, and we have a bunch of very different ones. Uh, this one is called a GPT, and it is similar to typing things into chat GPT, and you can ask it to do pretty much anything. Uh, here, write a tagline for a nice cream shop. Uh, for us, what we want to do is we want to use this formula right there, this function equals GPT, and then we want to feed a prompt in order for me to construct a prompt that uses the information about the property, I'm going to combine uh, a number of properties. It's called concatenate. All this function does, it just combines different cells. So here, let's write our prompt. Write an outreach message on behalf of a property management company and say that you want to take their property under management and historically you increase revenue by 23% and save host 20 hours a week. This is our prompt. Finally, I'm asking AI to use information about the property that we just scraped and uh, let's feed this information. We're going to point to the next cell, host name, host description, and about the property. Ready? All right, there we have it. By the way, you can uh, drag it all the way down so that you can have hundreds potentially of such messages written automatically and pretty much costs a cent or so uh, to get those written. This would have been a full-time job for a property management company for somebody doing outreach. And we just did it pretty much automatically. AI automations. There is also a dedicated video about how to use ChatGPT and OpenAI inside Google Sheets. If you want to watch the video about how to actually make it work in a more sophisticated way, click here. By the way, here is how Carol from Casafari, the real estate intelligence platform, leverages Bardeen to enable her sales team. I use a lot of the scraper feature from Bardeen to get the data and more information in order to take the decision who should we approach or not. Oh, it's unbelievable. I was using it to take a lot of time time to take hours to get this information and now it is happening in 30 minutes. You can do the same, right? You already know how to do it. If you do have access to platforms like Casafari, you're extremely lucky because they contain historical price changes data and they can send you alerts when a property goes on the market or off the market in a given area. What if I told you that we could build an automation to track price changes for a particular property. And it's much easier than you think. This time I'm going on realtor.com because why not? 94, 105, San Francisco. Uh, here we have new properties. Uh, this picture I've already seen actually. Uh, let's pick a property. This one looks pretty good. And now I want to know when the price for this property changes. There's property history, gives me some information, but I want to be notified when uh, this price over here changes. So what I want to do is I want to open up Redeem from over here. We're going to create a new automation 
and the automation is called when website data changes. And up next, we need to pick a scraper template to track a certain variable on the website. The cool thing is that Bardino already comes with pre-built templates, scraper templates for realtor.com. So you can pick existing ones in order to scrape data, but I want to track a variable on the page. So I'm going to create a new scraper template. I'm going to do it on this website. I'm going to build it myself and call it realtor.com price tracking. Okay, just like this. And all I want to do is I want to click on this price, get this data, and this is the data we're going to be tracking. I'm going to call it price. Uh, let's save the template. All right. So from here on out, every 10 to 15 minutes, Bardina is going to visit the web page. It's going to compare the price that it has scraped just now with the price it's going to scrape day, a week, a month ahead. If the price changes, then the automation is going to be triggered. Hence, when website data changes, this is the trigger. What happens when website data changes? Let's go ahead and add another action. We're going to extract information about this listing in the background. I can use a pre-built Realtor property scraper right there. Then I can copy the link to this specific property. So those are the pages that we're going to be tracking, link to pages to be scraped. I'm going to scrape this page. Let's paste it over here, okay? And up next, what do we do with the data that we have? There are a bunch of things you can actually do. You can send a Slack message to your team saying, hey, there is an update in pricing for this specific property. So there we have Slack. You can send a Slack message. For example, let me send it through. You can say price has changed for property and then you can insert a variable. You can insert the variable from the scraped data. I'm going to input the location and I'm going to input a link. Here's a link, property URL, line breaks. Let's do new price, insert price. It's beautiful, right? And now we can send a message to a particular user, a channel. You can even send it to Slack bot. I'm just going to pick myself. All right, there's me. And just like this, I'm going to receive a Slack message. Finally, if I'm on the go, because we have to meet with people, right? I'm going to get a text message sent to myself. A new action here, we have send a text message. I'm going to input a phone number. So here, so I don't want to retype this, I'm going to use commands. I'm going to uh, use that text message from Slack that we've constructed. So it's going to be exactly the same. And click on done, click on done again, and call this uh, track one Stuart lane. Click on done. Finally, enable your automation. And that's it, my job is done. One price changes. And this were the best automations for real estate. You can find links to all of them in the description of this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you found this video valuable and make sure to watch this video next about how to use Bardeen Scraper to extract data from the web. It's extremely useful. Click here.